The second machine we're going to look at today is what we call, is known as a surface planer or commonly referred to as a buzzer. Now the primary function of a surface planer is to plane one face and one edge at 90 degrees. There are other functions that can be done on, the, on a surface planer which include chamfering, beveling, tapering and if the surface planer has a rebate table you can also do rebating on the machine. Some of the uh, part, or looking at the machine itself, you'll have, we have an in-feed table which can be raised or lowered depending on the depth of cut that you wish to do. Then we have our back table which should be set at the top of the highest point of the cutters on the cutter block. We also have our fence which should be set to 90 degrees to the table when doing square dressing. Or we, if we need to do any beveling or tapering, we can, uh, we can change the angle and we can set it to the angle which is appropriate. We also have our foot pedal in this particular case, which is to raise or lower the, the front or the infeed table. We've also got two guards. We've got our back guard and we've got a front guard which in this particular case is known as a bridge guard. When looking at the switches, we have our star delta switch. We've also got um, our on switch here. That's our off button, so our mushroom emergency stop. And there's also a isolation switch here. I, up on our, here, on our post here we've also got our isolation switch as well so when changing blades or doing any adjustments to the machine we need to ensure that we isolate the machine first. Before running the machine we need to check to make sure that the fence is square to the table and we, to do that we actually use a square and simply place the square on the table and place it hard up against the fence to ensure that it's actually at 90 degrees. We've got our board that we need to plane with one face and one edge. First thing we need to do, like we did with the radio or the docking saw or radio alarm saw, was to check down the length of the board to ensure that we've got our bow, like as you can see, like so. And then when we place that down onto the table, so we've got the two high points actually touching the actual table itself. If we was to do it the other way and we turn it over this way, this would be incorrect because as soon as you put any pressure on there, as you can see, it will lift up or down. So we want it to be on a flat surface or flat on the table so that there is no rocking or movement on the actual board itself on the table. And we also ensure that we do the edge the same way as the face. We place that up against the fence, making sure that it's high point here and the high point there so that both ends are actually touching the table so there's no rocking in the board on the edge as well. The next step is to set the bridge guard to the correct height and position it so that we can actually plane through underneath and also on edge. So what we'll do is we'll place that on the table, we'll move the guard forward and also we need to check the height the maximum height that we should have is no more than 10 millimeters basically the idea behind that is to ensure that you can't put your fingers underneath the guard so we can adjust that we can move it up or down as long as it clears the workpiece and you can't get your fingers underneath then we've got it set with the edge we do the same place it on the edge, bring that forward so you've got enough clearance there to ensure that you can't put your fingers down into the actual cutters. When cutting, what you need to do is to ensure that your, the board is hard up against the fence. You place both hands on top of the board and position your feet so that you're actually at shoulder length or shoulder width apart. And balanced. It's very important that you balance yourself so that you're not overreaching when using this particular piece of equipment. So make sure your hands are on, both hands are on top of the board and as you feed it through, like so, place one hand over 
And as you go through, place the other hand over and then lift it over and bring it back to you if you need to repeat the cut. Same on the edge, when you're doing it on the edge, making sure it's hard up against the fence, pushing it through, hands over, hands over, and like so. One important thing to remember when using the buzzer is to ensure that you don't place your thumb on the edge of the board when passing the board over the cutters. Everything's now set, we've got our fence, we've got our bridge guard, we've got our depth of cut set. We're now ready to start, so what we'll do is we'll turn on the dust extraction and then we'll go through the cutting process. Okay, we're now ready to machine the board. We'll turn the um, machine on. Again, both hands on the board. 